his way to the ring right now. And he does so with an attitude that belies his in-ring intent. What an excellent two-punch combo by Crusher. Able to dismiss that body shot. Unable to land clean by Crusher. Crusher's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Bad intentions is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. He comes with the straight right hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Bad intentions is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Crusher's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Well, and that's exactly what he deserves. The ref getting involved, warning him for the headbutt. Well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Goes up top with a right hand. Crusher's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. And we come to the end of round straight right hand. Good work defensively by Crusher. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Rusher's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. A very crisp combination by Crusher. Bad intentions is not going to get away with this here. That headbutt the referee is saying that was an intentional foul, and that's a point deduction. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. He just missed that shot up top. Fires right five. back at him. <laughs> 90 seconds to go here in this round. Bad intentions is got to deal with a cut cheek. Locks that punch. Intentions is losing a point, point here. Away over he here. headbutted again. The referee's seen enough. He's taken away a point. Okay. Round comes to an end. Eight behind on the scorecard because if he didn't win that round and he gets a point taken away, it's a two point round. A lot to make up. A crushing two punch combo by Crusher. Tag and right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date he wants to get to it. <laughs> and a smart counter punch by bad intentions. There's the combo to the body. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Nice work with the uppercut. Keep doing what you're doing. That's a hook right to the flank. 
Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Great work offensively leading that combination by Crusher. Oh, a good right hand by Bad Intentions. Crusher's nose is now starting to bleed. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Crusher. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, you go straight back, and you're gonna pay a price. He paid a big one there. some bite to it, that right hand by Crusher. And now he's targeting upstairs. We count down the final moments of this round. Crusher's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Three minutes gone by in this other round. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by bad intentions. Big right hand there. Clinch him! Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Bad intentions is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Teddy, I think he's gonna go down. I think he's gonna go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Rusher's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. A thunderous punch able to land to the head. So he thought he was out of range. He wasn't. Crusher's sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his Stay castle. So now he's into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Little head knocking with that right hand. Turns over that hook upstairs. Bad intentions is well off the mark that time. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by bad intentions. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. Rusher is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. I like the way he was able to hook to the gut there. Stay on the inside! Halfway into round number five here. Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole, it was closed. Bad intentions is looking like the one thing you don't want your fighter to be, Teddy, and that is careless. Yeah, well, first of all, when you throw a jab, you throw it like you're testing hot water. Bang! You get it back just as fast as you throw it out. He's throwing it slow right now, and that's where the carelessness comes in. Something's going to come over that slow jab. And he returns on that exchange. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. A clean, crisp right hand by Crusher. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshots. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Now, 
as this round begins, a new task for him. Finish up the second half of this fight just as strong. Yeah, that's a good point, Joe. His enemy is not only the guy in front of him, but it's being that he's got such a lead. You know, his enemy is having such great success so far. Does it get him a little bit into a lull? If he gets into a lull now, he could blow that first half of the fight what he's done so well. That was a fine block by Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is probably going about this the wrong way. He is not having success as an infighter. And if he does, then he's losing the fight because he's not going to win it on the outside. Close the jam! Smart punch right there. The uppercut works. Little volume punching to the body there. A nice jab by Crusher. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Right hand downstairs. That hook was well off the mark. Scores well to the head with the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And that's the end of round six. Being as a man. Bad intentions is throwing lots of punches and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Crusher. And now he scores well with a straight right. Rushers is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Hooks on the inside. Halfway through the seventh round. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That attention is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Unload! Unload! More punches! Defense! More defense! work to the head the right hand landed crushers putting on a show here defensively putting on a show and it's helping his offense because you know he's creating holes he's creating opportunities holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss and that's what it should be about i mean if you go to the ballpark everybody likes to see home runs i know but the teams that win the World Series usually the better pitcher. The teams that can half defense, keep you off bounds a little bit, they're the ones that are going to the championship. This guy understands what's important, what's going to get him to the top. Left and right, left and right. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Committed to that left hand and it's working out. Solid right by bad intentions. 
See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Crusher. Bad intentions is failure to protect himself from that left hand. It's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Missed the body shot. Counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And round eight comes. Who has the greater will? Effective work with that flush overhand right. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. That straight right unable to connect. Good looking uppercut that time. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Nice work on the combination by Crusher. Crusher's making for a clinic here in combination punching. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, that's go-away punches, to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. You can see blood from that mouth. Super two-punch combo by Crusher. Overhand right can be so effective. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Crusher is able to land a nice, clean left hand. How about that exchange? Bad intentions is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. There's another left hand from him. Solid right by bad intentions. Rusher's left, landing well. He missed with that headshot. Rusher's right hand scores well that time. Targeting the uppercut, and it works. Nice work on the combination. Right hand, and then the left hook to the body. He scored well after being hit himself. And we come to the end of the rat shot. Russia's right hand scores well that time. Targeting the uppercut, and it works. Nice work on the combination. Right hand, and then the left hook to the body. He scored well after being hit himself. And we come to the end of the round. He's going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avatine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Good block by bad intentions. Look at that combination by Crusher. Teddy, something's got to change defensively because this guy's getting tagged consistently. Yeah, one of the things, he's got to start moving his head. What a big shot. Crusher's down. First knockdown of this fight. It's going to be interesting to see how he recovers here. One, Bunkers. Two, three. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Right hand, left hook to the body. Hits him in the mug with the right. 
Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Crusher's right hand working well that time. He scored well. A little head hunting with the left. Good flush shot by Crusher. Good exchange, scoring well with the right hand. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Crusher's showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have